to show you guys how I clean my tuppers. Uh, first thing is first, uh, a lot of my snakes are going through shed, and this is a really good time to um, uh, clean them out, uh, change the substrate, uh, raise a little bit the, the humidity in their enclosure so that way they have a, a clean shed. Um, so uh, something that I've learned in these last uh, few days has been in regards to these two snakes. Unfortunately, they, they had some kind of bacterial infection in their in their musk glands. Um, he's doing a lot better. I don't know if you can see that back part right there. It's kind of the little uh, bump he has. Um, so we've been injecting him with antibiotics and I've been sterilizing it and I've been uh, putting this anti antibacterial, anti-infective natural uh, honey. Uh, it's called uh, Vitramil. So if you guys ever just have it around uh, you don't need a prescription to buy it it's just a good a good cream to have around animals uh, iodine um so this is a good thing to to clean your animals with uh, make sure you soak it in it uh, i got another video explaining on how i how i treat uh infected musk glands so you guys can watch that now i'm on to this guy and uh he re he he recently ate so this is by far as dirty as i like them uh, to get, uh, I, I'm really, I'm really picky about having clean enclosures, and this is like really, really filthy. So I opened up a new bag of uh, Lignol Cell, and basically I'm gonna just uh, disinfect all this and clean it out. I know it's kind of gross, guys, but just uh, this is really bad. So once he poops, you really, really need to to clean it and spot clean it. And it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> so let's go ahead and clean it. So first thing is first, remove the snake. Uh, throw all the substrate. Throw on some gloves because we're going to use some chemicals. Let's go ahead and uh, put him inside here. That's a clean tupper. Um, let's go ahead and pick him up and just inspect him. It's a good time to inspect him. See how his tail's doing. Make sure he doesn't have any, any, bac uh, any bacteria. It's really good to check your snakes. Uh, obviously, they have two. They have a point of entry, which is their mouth, and they have a point of exit, which is their cloaca. So you want to check their mouth and their and their cloaca. Just make sure um, you're not missing anything. So once you put the snake aside, uh, take everything out, dump the substrate, and then I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, this is how it's looking. So the the mistake people make is, um, you know, the urates and stuff like that. They they bang it against the trash can and stuff. You don't want to do that because you're just uh, making everything airborne and uh, you don't know if there's bacteria or something uh, that's uh, stuck or binded to one of those molecules. And when you bang it on the trash can, then all of that stuff becomes airborne and you can breathe it in. Your animals can breathe it in. Uh, breathe it, in. it can land. And then another common mistake is when you wash it. So water doesn't have any disinfecting properties. So when you wash uh, bacteria, all you're doing is just uh, uh, spreading bacteria. So don't wash it. Don't bang it. What I like to do is I like to apply um, hydrogen peroxide, 6%. And on top of hydrogen peroxide, I let it sit there for about 20 minutes. And you could do as many of them as you want. But uh, um, I'm just going to do this for a demonstration purpose. Um, and I just leave it for 20 minutes in the bathtub. And on top of that, I, I also spray, um, ammonia, uh, 5% ammonia. Hydrogen uh, peroxide is great. Um, it's very great to kill, you know, parasites and stuff like that. It oxidizes. So it's a great, it's a great cleaner, but it's really weak, especially if you get like the 6% and you got to wait a long time. So I recommend if you can work with like 12%, so that way, it, you know, it, it could go faster, but uh, uh, you know, a misconception that people have is that they mistaken um, hydrogen peroxide for like an antiseptic or antibacterial uh, liquid, it, and it's not that because it does you know oxidize it. It it, it does kill certain bacteria, but um, you have fungus and you have other other types of uh, living organisms that it doesn't do as well um, like other products do. So go ahead and just uh, spray it you know be a little bit uh, liberal so this is only six percent so uh you could do it in the bathtub as well okay so we're here in the bathtub and after i sprayed the hydrogen peroxide uh go ahead and uh, blast it with ammonia um so the thing with the ammonia is that it's it, it takes out the muck and grime a lot better than than bleach and on top of that um it's a lot safer for the environment once it's diluted and down the drain 
uh, uh, versus bleach. The only thing with ammonia is that if you breathe it, a lot of it and stuff like that, then it could be toxic. It's going to make you cry. So go ahead and uh, give it ventilation. If you're in a bathroom, open the window, open the door, um, use a mask, uh, use some uh, protective eyewear, uh, you know, use gloves um, and just let it soak. Uh, just let it soak and uh, be a little bit uh, liberal with it. So again, uh, do that before you wash it. You don't want to wash it. You don't want to make a, a, a dust cloud. Sorry guys, I totally forgot I was making a video and I started washing without you guys. So yeah, so after you give it a few minutes, you know, at least like 20 minutes, go ahead and just rinse it off. Now you could use water, okay? So after that, just uh, again, you know, it is it is what it is. I, uh, I, I feel worse when I uh, flush bleach down, but ammonia is 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 considered you know a lot safer than bleach and on top of that ammonia is very good at, at, at cleaning surfaces more than bleach um it just breaks down the grime and stuff like that so like i didn't even scrub it and look there's like no poop particles and you guys saw how it was before so just make sure you leave it spray it liberally um and then once you wash it down uh the smell of ammonia should go away i i use a five percent of uh, ammonia if you need to uh, uh, dilute it 50-50, then, you know, that's fine as well. At this point, you want to go ahead and use uh, really good uh, quality soap. Be a little bit liberal. I do have chlorhexidine, but, uh, you know, this is fine. So, again, there's almost no muck. Uh, there's no poop or any stains. Um, but I just uh, scrub it anyway and just uh, give it a good, uh, thorough scrub. And then I brought the... I'm sorry about the mess, guys. Just I'm um, really clean right now. Um, so yeah, so this is how it is. Just uh, soap, guys. Um, so you know you can sun dry it if you have a steamer. You can even hit it with an, uh, another steamer, but this would be good enough. And also, I I did some antibacterial. I did some uh, chlorhexidine spray, and then I just went ahead and sprayed the, the place where it lives on the wreck, um, and just uh, give it a good um, you know wipe down. I'm just gonna leave it li like half half wet, half humid there. Uh, just to give it a little bit of humidity and you know, just uh, do the same process with the water bowl and the hide um, Ammonia, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys have any questions or let me know if you guys uh, Do it a little uh, differently than me and uh, Stay safe everybody and ha uh, happy hog noses